Hey, good morning out there. It's a beautiful Saturday. It's about 8.30 in the morning and I am pumped up, jacked up, fired up. I am ready to make the change that I've been waiting to make. There is no better time than today to make that change. Uh, personally, me, I suffer from procrastination, not having a plan of action, not following up, following through. I'm gonna be honest with you guys out there right now. I am in the car business. My name is Freddie Ward. I've been in the car business for 21 years. The month of April, we are in right now. I believe it's what, April 22nd. I have got two cars out for the month. Two cars. You know whose fault that is? I'll tell you whose fault. It's my fault. I take full responsibility. You know why? Because I haven't created a plan to get me to my goals because I haven't been writing my goals down. Now, I say I'm making a change today and I told you I'm pumped up, fired up, jacked up, ready to do some things I've never done before. And you wanna know the first step to doing this? Grant Cardone, I, I, you know, I hope you see this one day and uh, and look back, you know, and say, man, that's the kid. That's the kid, I saw him before, but that's the kid that's gonna make the change. And when I say kid, I mean I'm 40 years old, but it don't matter. <clears throat> And I'm going to show you guys a little secret here that came in the mail last night. I don't know if you've heard of them yet, but uh, I've been waiting on this. I've been waiting to 10x my life. All right? We got the bracelets. We got, uh, oh, Jesus, millionaire booklets, be obsessed, be average. You know, all these things, all these books. That's, I'm on Cardone U. I mean, what, what else could you possibly want? You think, man, this guy's got to be the number one salesman. Nothing will work unless you do. And until you can come up with a plan, an absolute plan to your day so you know where you're going to be, what you're going to be doing, when you're going to be doing all these things, <sighs> is how you reach your goals. I personally have not been doing any of it. I have just been, I've been going to work to hang out, you know, not waiting on people, not trying to close deals, just not real excited about anything. I mean, and you know, sometimes you get in that funk, you know, you could be in this big Mr. Motivational mood, and oh man, tomorrow I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, and then you wake up the next day and you're like, yeah. I think I'll just make up some excuses and go right back to the way it was. Well, no, I'm making a change. I'm making a change in my life, in my family's life, my children. Right now, my girls are getting up with my girlfriend. Uh, her mom's driving up from Holly. Uh, uh, her son's wife, Kristen's driving down from Grand Rapids. And Amy, Maya, Presley and all the girls, Kristen, Mary Jo, they're going on this color run. And I'd give it anything to be there. It, this was so important to Maya that Amy, my future wife, made it a point to make sure it happened. You know why? She doesn't need these kind of like plan, planners, you know? She's already got that stuff down, you know? me. I, uh, I got to create one, man. I got to create a plan of action. Um, I have some serious goals, and I've tried just a regular notebook. You know, it don't work. It don't work. <clears throat> For the next, and, I, you know, I did the 30-day challenge the first time, and it didn't, it didn't work. You know, I made a promise to myself. I broke my promise. I didn't do what I said I was going to do. I didn't, and I take responsibility for that. That was very unethical of me. It, it really says a lot about my character when I make a promise to myself and don't follow through on that promise. I'm really letting myself down. But I'm, I'm done, man. I got to make a stand. I got to make a commitment, man. I have got to follow through or I'm never going to get to where I want to be or where... 
where I'm headed, man. I mean, you can have, you can dream about this stuff all you want. My dreams and my visions of where I'm going to be are through the roof. They're so unrealistic that uh, small-minded people get uncomfortable when I just talk about them because they're like, well, what are you doing to achieve them? And I'm like, oh, nothing, man. I'm just winging it, you know? I'm just going to wing it. Um, but what I was saying earlier with the Grant Cardone stuff, man, I, I really admire this guy. I saw him last night on Instagram. He had his daughter on his back. She's like just, you know, pitching a sale. And I mean, his kids are amazing. The, the guy's amazing. He, he's such a role model of mine. Not only a mentor, but I mean, just being a great, great father, a, a wonderful husband and uh, taking care of his family, man. I, I respect that. I respect the fact that that man does whatever it takes to take care of his family. And this right here is just one small step for me in the right direction because, uh, I, like I said, I do suffer from procrastination, man. And that's the one thing I wanted to weed out of my life and get the heck out of my vocabulary is procrastination. I want to start doing it now. I want to create a plan. I want to know what I'm doing today, uh, wh who I'm going to call, what I'm going to accomplish, how I'm going to do it. And, um, you know, this 10X planner here, I truly, truly believe in it. Being a member of Cardone U, um, when I signed up for that program, it's wonderful, fantastic, phenomenal. It's, a, it's an online course, and basically Grant's going to teach you how to sell cars. Here's the thing. Uh, you can't teach somebody that doesn't want to learn. So just like this, this planner here, if I don't utilize it, it's just going to be another $30 planner that, uh, I, I, again, my girl, all I got to do is tell her that I want something. Boom, it's in the mail. I come home from work, I'm like, oh, you know, man, boy, you know, and these 10X planners, they're pretty cool. They look like they could do it. Bam, it's in the mail, in the mail. I come home from work yesterday, boom, on the counter. That's just how she is, man. She takes care of me. She's an amazing woman. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna, she's gonna be my wife someday. But here's my, here's my promise to myself. And I don't even wanna make a promise. I wanna make a commitment to myself and to all you viewers out there that watch and follow and comment and like. Man, I love all you guys for what you do. You don't have to watch this. You don't have to listen to me. I'm nobody. I'm not super successful. I'm not rich. I'm not, I'm not none of these. But I do have uh, some determination in me. And I know what I'm capable of. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do everything in my power to make sure that uh, I can take care of my family. And this is the first step. So here is my, here's my commitment I'm making right now. I'm going to do, and let's be, you know, last time with the 30 days was a little long. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just be a little realistic here. Nah, screw that. Screw that. I got a planner for the year. Here's, here's mine. For the next 60 days, every single day, I am going to show you how to create a plan of action. Now, I'm not doing this right now. I don't know where you're at in your life or with your job or uh, if you're in sales, if you're in whatever you're in, are you maximizing uh, your day? You know, there's 86,400 seconds in a day, man. That You gotta maximize all that time and be productive. As, uh, as my buddy Grant would say, you know, most people are too worried about being professional and not productive. No, what you need to do is produce and be productive. It's the 22nd and I got two cards out for the month. I need to get off of my lazy ass and start doing something, you know? And that's what I intend to do. And I'm going to document it. I'm documenting my journey. I'm documenting the fact that, uh, hey, Someday, I'm going to be a millionaire. I don't know what your goals are, but someday, I am going to be a millionaire, and I'm going to work for Cardone Industries, you know, Cardone Headquarters. I am going to fulfill that dream. Or if I'm not going to work there, I'm at least going to sit down and interview with the guy. I'm telling you this. I'm coming for you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crush it, all right? I obviously have taken 
the fact that I am not ready yet and you probably throw me out of your office and tell me to, you know, come back when you're ready. But this right here, I'm, I'm so excited to use this. And I